Okay, so I'm back with another unboxing. It is not a true unboxing, but it is an unboxing. This is one of my more unique products or uh, consoles, I should say. It's one of my more unique ones. I got this a while back. I would say a total of uh, maybe two and a half years ago from AliExpress. That was the only thing I ever ordered from them and it took about like a month to get here and even had issues with the actual mailbox, it going in the mail. I mean, it was just really difficult for me to get this. I got it like over a month later and a bunch of arguments with my uh, my postal postal service and all that, you know? But uh, nevertheless, it is here. This is what it looks like. And you can see there, it says projector game console. So for sure, it's the PGS. And it's got a really nice box and you can see it's got a controller here. We got another, um, that's our projector. And then you get your, your buddies. And uh, 70 inches is how big it can get. So you got a, it gives you three examples in 70 and a 40 inch and I guess the last one must be like 20 inch and uh, this is what you get included projector the power supply joysticks and the manual and uh, I don't think that's this is a real game but then we got this okay then we got on this side so the, the box is really nice, PGS over there. But this is where this little guy lives because he doesn't have, have a home at the moment. I don't have anywhere to put it. So here's the console. This is what it comes with. It comes with one of these. This is your power supply right here. I even have it marked just in case uh, something happens. Sometimes things like that happen. NES projector. I have others that look very close to this one. And I wouldn't want to mix them up and end up frying up my uh, projector. So there's the power supply. Here's your adapter for the power supply. And here is one controller here. So I have another controller that is out already. This controller, um, I never use it, and I always keep one in the box because if one of these controls blanks out on me, then I'll be able to um, have another one. If I take them both out, sometimes they can both die, and then I don't have any controllers. So you can see this is the controller. It's got this um, this here little cap, like a battery's going, but no batteries do not go in. Ain't really much going on here, you know, it feels really light and cheap. But it'll get the job done, doesn't feel like total crap. So there's your controller, it does have a little light indicating that it's on. And it's connected to a USB that's about 6 feet. So we'll go ahead and just put that in there and we'll take a look at the unit itself. There's not really much going on in here, considering this is the television, so you don't need a, a, nothing to connect it to. Alright, so you get an SD card slot. Unfortunately, you cannot add your own games. Um, so you got your two controller ports. If we turn it over this way, you got a volume and an on and off. Your power, turn it around again. PGS cap and that's it we go to the bottom we got this so we got 12 volt 2 amps uh, so it's an 18 watt product it's got a little fan in there too yeah, I think you guys can see that fan back there. See it? It's 
go over here on this side. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's got its own volume too. So you got speakers, stereo sound speakers, which don't sound the best, but they're not the worst neither. So let's go ahead and um, get started. The SD card, which was supposed to be in here, it's not in here, I don't know where I left it, but the, they give you an SD card that is loaded with um, some games on it. I must have it put away. But it's not really worth putting in in the first place because it's, uh, I don't know, it's just not worth it. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and look at this console again. Nice shiny blue reset button is right here. And then you got these indications kind of letting you know what's going on. And that's it. But it's in really good shape, really nice looking console, not bad. I like the way it just sits around, it doesn't look bad looking, it looks nice. Um, so if you wanted to connect it to your wall, you would have to focus it. And I got this thing to get pretty big. So this is it coming out completely. And then um, you go ahead and put it back in. So it works really good. Really simple, easy. So this is how you would maintain a focus until you get it to go the way you want. And uh, it does get a really decent picture. I'm not lying. It's not very um, low. It does work. So it does have a decent amount of lumens on it and uh, you will get a decent picture. I think I'll do a, a test on it. I gotta get a wall available and uh, or a ceiling. We'll go and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I'll do another video on the gameplay. But it's a really unique product. It's not that you go around seeing an NES um, projector console so this is your actual NES with about a hundred and something games on it and uh, you got a hundred video games and you got your TV your console right here and uh, that's pretty cool so it's really simple to set up so you just you just need this and a power cable really and your uh, your controller and you're good to go so I just wanted to share that with you guys since I hadn't did an unboxing recently, I've been kind of busy. And uh, I guess I've just been busy screwing around with all these here. Uh, if you look, there's a bunch of Bluetooth speakers here. So this is what I've been messing around with. Yeah, sound bot right there. Yeah, I think I got addicted to them. And... Uh, I'll probably keep buying more and more of those as uh, the days go by. And I haven't really bought any consoles, but I will. So thanks a lot for watching. And if you see the PGS, you might want to take a look at it. It'll run you about 20 bucks. 27 tops. Thanks a lot.